Hello and welcome to channel UTM. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel where I will be showing you uh, the research in action and the results and uh, basically how you can do this yourself. Um, don't expect things to immediately jump out at you. Um, it's not always the case. What you've got to realize is that we are back editing edited photographs. So it can be very difficult to get to grips with the images um, initially. Um, it's all about um, giving yourself time to uh, get used to what you're looking at. It's not always the case, but um, most of the time it is. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested, then um, stick with it. Um, there's lots of uh, information on the other videos and uh, <clears throat> the tutorials as well. So basically, if you have doubts about this, you can try it yourself. It's as simple as that. So, okay. Today, we are going to be looking at um, Iapetus. I think that's the right um, uh, pronunciation, um, but who knows? Okay, this is Iapetus. It's a oh my God, hold on. It is a Saturn moon. Yes, a Saturn moon. Okay, in na 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 na, na and it's pre pretty small. Um, we've got a few that have come up this sort of size, nine hundred and twelve miles. Um, this is um, where the image was downloaded from. Um, so pause and have a read. Same, uh, there's more information here. So uh, give it a read. Okay, right. So if you're still here um, and you do enjoy looking at these images, you know, if you're an amateur um, astronomer or whatever. So. Um, Basically, you're not going to see this stuff. I mean, for example, if you're if you're viewing um, your downloads in like a Windows viewer, for example, um, let's have a look. Even though these images of these files, I think this is about 40 megabyte or something, um, you can see it pixelate in there. It's actually really quite good. Um, but as you can see, these these are completely um, bleached dark now. It's probably a contrast thing that they've done there. Um, but what I'm going to show you is, I think it's initially it's this area, this area around here. So anyway, let's get rid of that and have a look at this now you're thinking oh, okay this looks completely different i've actually rotated it 90 degrees um and done the preliminary work before it's enlarged um so we can pull more detail out it's it's all explained in some of the other videos um and the tutorials so uh this is what we have to do so Let's um, let's have a look. So the nature of the tools. Um, this is a false color image, um, but the nature of the tools themselves will saturate the the colors and things itself. Sometimes it gets too much, and you have to um, um, move into grayscale, black and white. So um, okay. Let's have a look at this area here. These these uh, marks here are what you can pull out of the dark areas. And I explain in the other videos about working with the dark and light. Um, in, in either of them, there's lots of uh, information which is, which is hidden. So like I said at the beginning, uh, you need to give yourself time to... Uh, shall we say, acclimatise to what you're looking at. 
they're always normally very blurred um so you have to get used to it that no one's used to looking at uh, stuff like this so uh you need to take your time So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll just flip this one and we can look at the same area so this is the area um, and because I've been doing this for quite a while, there are various things I look for. There's um, very familiar shapes which we're finding on every moon and planet. Um, and uh, sort of unusual lines which which uh, denote sort of infrastructure or, or travel systems or however you'd, you'd uh, like to interpret it. But as you can see here, this is this is the raw image this is how it comes in so if you focus on this um you can see it looks very unusual is that the area we're looking at hold on in fact it might be further i think we're further down but anyway we'll move we'll move through the image but you can see here that there's some quite odd stuff going on And what we find with a lot of these, um, obviously there's uh, perspective on this because we are looking at the, the arc. And I've spoken about how to view this stuff. Um, <clears throat> it's called uh, the angle of inclination and things like that. So we're getting um, fronts and sides and, and top views of these um, structures. Sorry if I'm repeating myself for the people who uh, are following this, but um, like I said, you know we've got to got to carry on doing that. So that was the area we were just looking at, and this is it um, with more um, back editing um, done on it. So it's a case of just concentrating on an area and seeing what what you tend to find happens is um, the more you work on the image, the more things tend to tends to join up, and um, the more clarity you'll get out of it. Um, and we're just using these tools here. It's a dodge and burn tool. One makes it lighter, one makes it darker, and we can work with. Um, the range is highlights, midtones, and shadows. So it's that simple. Um, there are, I think, I've got four people now that are are, are um, attempting this or doing this and getting results. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll give you fair warning. Um, this will change your perception of everything um, so yeah it's um, very crazy so I can see these areas here these are familiar images um, these aren't too visible to the untrained eye um, but it they generally tend to look like um, terracing um, so things not quite built on top of each other but through the perspective we've got here um, things tend to sort of hang over the next level as it were 
So, and with the with the tools, you can um, you gradually bring out the uh, the depth and the shadows, and uh, it slowly starts making uh, sense to you. So, like I say, pause it, just take it in. Um, and what you find on these uh, these full planetary um, and the the photographs with a lot of uh, taken at a much lower angle inclination perspective, um, you'll start noting an infrastructure that the, you can see the layout of these buildings and stuff. The scale is always a point, they always seem to be extremely large. So we can see these running through. You follow it through, it's, it stretches right to the edge. And also, when you're doing the work, um, like I've explained, um, ridge lines, crater edges, and the the um, the skyline of sorts. Um, you work on those as well because it always tends to be hidden hidden um, things sticking out. You don't necessarily get the full um, picture of it. But it's interesting. So a lot of these things um, start making a lot more sense once your eye brain has got used to looking at the image. Then you can start seeing um, various things overlapping stuff, the shadowing of it. Um, you can see sort of like pipe-like structures which wrap around each other, go under things. Um, very not what they describe the planet's surface to uh, the geology to be like. Um, there's no explanation of these strange formations which strangely look um, manufactured. This area here, let's just go back to this image, was this here, really odd looking. Um, what I'll do, I'll quickly uh, stick some contrast into that. Um, so you can see a little bit better. So we have that. Uh, whoops, wrong way. And all this. See, I would notice stuff like that, like this. And if you're new to this, you'll probably, you, 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 it, you know, it just looks like an abstract painting or something. There's no. Um, it just takes time um, to get used to what you're looking at. Just get that back on. What are we on? The reason I do show you the research is um, helps you concentrate better on what I'm looking at, basically, and gives you time to for your brain to start evaluating it.
So it is up to me how far I pull these. Um, I'm just trying to get them to a level where they look like what uh, it's it is I mean I'm not these forms these shapes are in the picture I'm not laying anything down this is um, this is purely um, lightening or darkening the various pixels in the image so if you think I'm sketching or drawing then it, it can't be done So it's things like that, things like this. Just work on this there, and what happens? It gets to a point where you're going to bleach it out yourself. So what you do, <clears throat> I would go back with another tool, this is burn midtones, or you can uh, burn the highlights again, which makes it quite soft, but it's uh, it is another process, but for demonstration purposes, I'll go straight in with the, the midtones. This program is um, an open source um, program, uh, it's free, you can pay, you can make donations, so there's a lot of work going into uh, producing this sort of software, and uh, so say thank you to them. So it's a, it's a case of um, darkening and lightening, darkening and lightening. Um, and that will squish the pixels in a sense and help you get more clarity out of the image. And what... If you get a bit confused with what you're looking at, just pan back out and there are different levels where you can uh, it makes more sense to you everyone's going to be different and everyone will view the the images differently it's just just something people are going to see different things um, So you can slowly see, this is something I found earlier which is quite interesting, hold on a sec. This is one of the things, the hours fly by when you're doing this stuff. It is a slow process, but um, this is the way I like to do it. I don't want to really miss anything, I don't want to bleach anything out or darken anything too much. I hope my mic's working. Didn't check it. And it is a cheap and cheerful mic. If it sounds a bit crap. Okay, right, so I was I thought this was quite interesting. Um it's sort of reminiscent to the crater edges and stuff that we've seen. That um, they look very thin. They don't tend to have any backs to them. It, it's it's quite odd. You can see they actually look. This looks very 
sort of thin it looks like an opening I don't know if there's anything uh, hiding in there or not there's a little there's a few bits and bobs but a lot of these areas seem to be um, cut out um, the whole area is um, blacked out so you only you'll only get a little bit of information out of it um, but it's another um, obvious editing uh, technique to uh, mask something So this area here, um, and all this, what was I just looking at? Yeah, looks like it's going in. There's a lot of stuff going into it. I think this, that would all extend down to here as well by the looks of it. So. I move out a bit. This is something else which appeared out of the darkness. But I don't really know what that is. <coughs> Excuse me. But we can see this. It looks like it's connected. If you are struggling with this image to see what I'm sort of describing, um, just give it time, maybe check some of the other videos. Um, it may make more sense. Like I say, you know, if you, if you want to stick with this stuff and you want to know for sure, what's going well you won't know for sure what's going on but um, the fact that these images are heavily edited um, then just stick with it so it's definitely off when it's going somewhere not sure what these uh, black lines are um, another thing to take note of is uh, the, the shadows and if they do change throughout the picture um, Okay, let, so let's go back up and I'll just give you a sweep across this stuff. If I see anything pop out, we can have a, have a closer look. So these connecting areas. And every so often on these connecting areas, they seem to have like um, a platform of sorts like here um, which tend to have little towers well I wouldn't say little but with uh, domes and stuff on we don't know what they are and they they, they seem to be um, uh, what do you call it prevalent is it prevalent on every moon and planet we've been looking at this little thing here, look, there's two side by side there, there's one here, one here, and there, there's one here, there's one there, something's sticking out of it.
And these are very unusual. Remember, you're not necessarily going to see anything that you can uh, relate to in terms of um, construction uh, that we have here on on Earth. Um, we find this stuff is very well alien to say to say the least. Um, so because I've been doing it for quite a while now you just get used to uh, identifying the, the, the inklings of uh, shapes and, and stuff and when you pull it through it's, it's still as surprising as doing it the first time But you will automatically um, focus on um, angles and squares, circles, um, things that stick up. It's simple. Your brain works in a certain way. It's, uh, so you have to you have to follow it. But what also what you have to do as well is. in regards to you know if this exists or if it doesn't exist you have to go in with a a fresh brain um so it's, uh, a lot of people just can't uh, open their mind to the possibility full stop and um, so that's uh, that is purely just because of the uh, the way we've been uh, taught I mean it's part of the psyche it's um, this is what we've got to understand um, you know and the purpose of this channel is to give you the option to go and find this information out for yourself. Let's just go back here, I'll give you a few So this is what I was talking about, so the, the blocking out. You can see the sharp edges on it, which are completely different to the fluffiness of the uh, most of the the rest of the image. Now it could be just with the processing. Um, and how shadows uh, work or condense, but I'm not entirely sure. I, I have looked into it somewhat, but um, just through experience of working with um, simple stuff uh, within graphics, it that's what it's telling me that it's 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 been edited other over the top of the image. So right, I'm going to pan out a bit, because um, I can't quite remember where, where I've looked. I've looked in various uh, places. So these areas would have been dark, and I've worked on those as well. So let's just have a look at this bottom bit. Oh yeah, this planet has a very strange ridge. 
that runs through it. There's very few photographs of it. There's this photograph. Um, and there are some more black and white ones of the full moon that sort of show it a little bit better, but nothing close like uh, like this. That's the image if you're interested in having a look at it. So it's pretty pretty odd. We'll have a look. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So I've had a work on this, and it is it is very very difficult to get anything out of it but I'm slowly finding things are appearing um, be a case of really slowing down and getting right into the image to try and uh, start pulling some details out um, but to me very familiar stuff um, so you can see there's definitely something going on in there, regardless to what it is or not. It's, uh, I don't know yet. But what I found quite interesting with this when I pulled it, um, how this follows, how you can see, you know, the darkness and lightness in this. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, actually it looks quite reflective, these look quite reflective, so this here, I'll try and bring some more of that out. You know, this could be, could be a reflective uh, surface. But from the area that's been worked on to the area that's around it um, is, well, it's terrible. This looks like an ancient old photocopy um, newspaper photograph. You know, understand? Look at it. And under this area that was really blacked out, you can see the the detail. And this area is completely different, and it's in more light. So that doesn't make any sense to me straight away. So when you start working on an area, you can start seeing the uh, you start pulling the 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 the, the uh, three Dness, shall we say, out of out of the image, um, making it unflat, because they make these images look as flat as they can, with as much contrast as they, as they can. And then your eye is just drawn all over the place to and to the wrong places. See, I have no idea what's going on here. I haven't done a huge amount in this area. We'll go and have a look because you'll only be able to see it close up. Um, these are all dark areas. Um, see, let's have a look at that. Like I say, I'm used to looking at this stuff and I can tell you that there is stuff in here but you know I, c I can say all I want but you need to be able to see it um, I 
I wouldn't expect you to see anything here, but there are inklings of stuff. This is why we enlarge the image, so we can get into it. Making the image larger, increasing the pixels, doesn't necessarily improve the, the um, you know, it, it's not going to give you stuff that isn't in the image. It's just going to allow you to get closer into the image. Um, and yes, pick out more details. But I wouldn't consider this um, proof for anyone, because they're, they're not going to see anything. Okay, we'll leave that there because there's uh, you can see it more now we've pulled out. See these areas here looking looking much more um, manufactured, shall we say? You know, a lot of this stuff can be very difficult to uh, to find. You've just got to persevere and uh, go through the, the processes. And these look quite unusual. But it is an alien planet, so, you know, Unusual is uh, should be part of the description, uh, but you know it's it's not um, always the case. That's unusual. So in, in making it larger as well, it's like, so we, we, we can see this now. So when you zoom out, it visually compresses for you. So you can make more sense of uh, what you're looking at. Again, sorry for uh, repeating myself, guys. So what I've been describing and everything is a very simple process, but for the for the brain and uh, you know the way you've uh, you expect to perceive things and uh, what you believe is very difficult to do. So if you've got the brains and you want to learn, it's 
it's as simple as you know if it, if, it, if you if, it, if you want to know for sure about something you, it can be anything take any subject something you want to learn something you want to do i mean you can listen and, and read as much as you like Um, if you do the research yourself, try it yourself. You know, it's simple as you know. It's like if you, uh, um, it's like trying something and then realizing you're really good at doing it, sort of thing. It's uh, it's sort of like that. You're not you're not going to know until you try it. You can see it, it's everywhere. Massive structures. Let's see if I have a quick play with this, it might make more sense to you. But I don't tend to use these this uh, too much. Because I lose information. I don't know if that makes more sense to you or not. Just find something you can sort of relate to and just slowly work through it.
things like this. thing there. This thing here. See, it's weird when you look at this area here. This looks like lots of things sticking up of the shadows. You can get confused looking at this stuff. Now, what I do suggest as well is if you just leave it and then come back to it and have a look. Going super speed now. Okay. Very unusual. They look at these things. They look like they're sticking up. all over the place as to if they if, if they are or not uh, I don't know it could just be the way that I'm looking at the picture see what I mean Very weird. So I hope you can see what I'm uh, pointing out. Um, and let's just have a quick look at uh, this one again. I've done, I haven't really done very much to this at all. Um, but once you start working on it, uh, you can see familiar stuff. Um, starting to appear uh, which clearly isn't in the uh, 
the image that you download. So you can see more detail appearing. Um, I don't know if this is a very one of the easier images to work on for you guys who are doing this. It's always uh, worth a try to um, have a go at some, some harder stuff. There's clearly stuff in here. At these early stages, it can be quite hard to sort of work out what's going on. Um, I just wanted to give you another example to show you that um, it's not just on one image, like I've done with most of the other ones. Uh, it's not just a dodgy image with some funky compression artifacts or pixel anomalies, that type of sort of thing. Which is all rubbish anyway. I've got some I've got some more stuff to show you about. Um I know I've talked about striping and stuff like that on the images. They actually have software to eliminate that. Um so it shouldn't even exist anyway. Only in the only in the very old um, pictures, I think. Um, but yeah, I was I was looking into it, and uh, yeah, they openly talk about um, uh, the striping and the the de striping uh, software they use. Yeah, that's a nice little one there, look. Again, the familiar stuff. These weird platform-esque type sort of um, structures. <coughs> Excuse me. I smoke too much. So you can see it developing. It's everywhere, guys. So obviously, the more you work on this, the more you'll get. I'm going to do another vid because I've got another another nice photograph with some good some good stuff on it so I'll work on this one and uh, update you on the next one with with this as well and uh, by all means go for it grab it and have a look yourself see what you can find okay there we have it Iapetus Saturn Saturn moon uh, craziness um, We've got a lot more of uh, these moons and things to go. Let's see, look at that area over there. What is going on? Uh, if you can't see anything, uh, guys, it really is best to view this stuff on a large screen it's uh, a lot easier to see okay right um, oh and there we go it's uh, Cassini Hugens again my favorite one um, that was the, the mission the satellite um, the imager orbiter um, Groovy. All right, guys. Nice one. I'll see you in the uh, the next vid. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. 
and uh, cheers.